Yeah. Of Israel. Kind of script back oh, go ahead. On that. Mm -hmm. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 3, verse 35. This is our power, and there shall none other be accounted of in comparison of him. There you go. Oh, that was beautiful. Man, that's what, a beautiful was this, what was this chapter and verse? What, 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 uh, that was Baruch uh, 3. 3. Baruch 3. Yeah, that was uh, yeah. Baruch 3 and uh, 35. Baruch 3 and 35. Read it again now. That's <laughs> Baruch chapter 3, verse 35. This is oh. our God, uh -huh. and there shall none other be accounted of in comparison of him. <laughs> hey, man. That's Come clear. on, man. That's clear, man. <laughs> hey, man, these other gods don't mean nothing, man. Ain't no comparison with Yahweh to the gods of these other nations. To yeah. the gods of Jesus, of right. Christianity, yep. to the right. gods of, of Islam, yeah, to that, the gods all, of Buddhism, Hinduism. All those gods is... It, it is no comparison. Yeah. I got another precept to that. Go ahead. <laughs> this is 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 2. There is none holy as Yahweh, uh -huh. for there is none besides thee. Neither is there any rock like our power. There it is. There it is, man. Ain't nothing, ain't no other God like our God, man. That's beautiful, man. That's beautiful. Yeah, you can keep on going here. Yeah. Right. What, ver what verse you on? Uh, 14. Okay, go ahead. This is 2 Chronicles 32 and 14. Who was there among all the gods of those nations that my fathers utterly destroyed, mm -hmm. that could deliver his people out of my hand? Mm -hmm. That your power should be able to deliver you out of my hand. Talking mad cash on that piece. Right there, man. Yeah. <laughs> now therefore, let not Hezekiah deceive you, nor <laughs> persuade you on his on this manner. You see what he's doing? That's that divide and conquer technique. He's saying, look, all you people, don't let Hezekiah trick you into believing that your power gonna be able to save you out of my hands. Mm -hmm. See, that's the carnal man's thinking, yeah. man. Mm -hmm. He's not like the spiritual man, man. Mm -hmm. right. Go ahead. For no God of any nation or kingdom was able to deliver his people out of my hand uh -huh. and out of the hand of my fathers. Ooh. How much less shall your power deliver you out of out of my hand? <laughs> hey, see, now he up here mocking Yahweh, so you know he's oh, about to catch wreck. <laughs> exactly. Hey, man. Come on. <laughs> Go ahead. And his servants spake yet more, more against Yahweh thy power and against his servant Hezekiah. Uh huh. He wrote also letters to rail on Yahweh thy power of Israel. So he talking cat man cash through letters and everything, man. Damn. Woo, this boy, this boy <laughs> is wicked, man. Center Cribble is a wicked dude, man. Yeah. Go ahead. And to speak against him, saying, As the gods of the nations of other lands have not delivered the, their people out of my hand, so shall not. The God of Hezekiah deliver his people out of my Ooh, hand. Man, look. So this dude has gotten to a spiritual boxing match with the supreme power of the work of the universe, man. Yeah. Talking all that cash, mad cash, man. And now Hezekiah them is like, okay. All right, keep on doing what you're doing. We know, we know that, that our power will come yeah. in the time that he needs to come, man. Putting mm -hmm. all his strength and his power in behind in his military. In his military might. Just yeah, like that's why I said do. that's why it says in uh in the in the uh it's one of, I believe it's in Ezekiel that like, terrible has deceived thee. Uh-huh. Yeah. Or yeah. One, of, one of them some one of the prophet uh the books of the prophets. Uh -huh. It says thy terribleness has deceived thee. Yeah. And that's what happened to a lot all these different nations. Yeah. They've gotten to the point where they get built up in their power, their terribleness deceived them, and then that's when the Most High mm -hmm. takes them down. And that's what's happening right now with Babylon. Yes, yeah. right. They've been they've they've basically done all kinds of stuff and their terribleness has deceived them into thinking that they're gonna be able to perpetuate yeah. their control. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah. Go ahead. Then they cried with a loud voice in the Jews' speech unto the people of Jerusalem. So now Sinecrib is like, okay, I done went this way. I spoke to the king and to some of these people about this. Yeah. And now I done mocked with letters. Now he says, I'm gonna talk to him in the Jews' speech. So now he's speaking Hebrew so that everybody in there can understand, man. You see what I'm saying? So another tactic of the enemy to go in and try and divide and conquer the people, man, so that they will reject their power, 
bill come up on them and then they can be taken down. Mm -hmm. Because if we abide in our power, according to the scriptures, nobody can touch us. And if we start to believe that and understand that, man, it'll come to pass. Nobody will be able to touch us, man. Right. Mm -hmm. And see, right now we don't have examples that we can, in the modern times, to do that. We have to have faith in what's been written for a four time for our learning. Yeah, yeah, the faith, the faith, and, and just like it. And that's heavy because uh -huh. it ain't happened to us. We haven't been delivered in a long time. Yeah, 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 that's a long time. Man. You know, and nobody in our generation, our parents' generation, or their parents' parents' generation has seen it. Yeah, right. and, man, and, that, and that's so key. That's so key right there because it, the, the faith aspect is a requirement just to please the Most High. And see, he got he has us in the midst of all these different nations or whatever, and these are these people are here to prove us, man. That's right. Yep. They they here to prove whether we will serve the Most High or not. Because look at look at everything that we have, man. We got all these different religions. We got all kinds of wickedness in this place, man, that we can indulge in. Yeah. So this thing, this place is here to prove us whether we will or whether we will not. And the faith is the key aspect of that, man. Faith is the key aspect of that. Oh, you got I'm just trying to find that scripture for you. Thank you. I'm just saying. Father, I'm going to try to use it. Oh, yeah. I, I think that's in, uh, I think that's, that, that's in Judges. That's, uh, Judges, uh, What do you want? That's Judges, uh, oh, yeah, I'm, I'll bring this here out. This is talking about the proof. This is Judges 2 and, uh, and, uh, 20. 2 and 20. And the anger of Yahweh was hot against Israel, and he said, Because that this people have transgressed my covenant, which I commanded their fathers, and have not hearkened unto my voice, I also will not henceforth drive out any from before them of the nations which Joshua left when he died, that through them I may prove Israel whether they will keep the way of Yahweh to walk therein as their fathers did keep it or not. Right. So this stuff, these, all this stuff here is to prove us, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have to be proved in here, in, in this land, man. Mm -hmm. And then our ways have to be pleasing unto Yahweh, where Yahweh shy through faith. That's, That's right. right. Oh, go ahead. This is verse 19. And they spake against Yahweh of Jerusalem, as against the gods of the people of the earth. Which were the work of the hands of man. Uh -huh. And for this caused Hezekiah the king and the prophet Isaiah the son of Amaz prayed and cried to heaven. Look at that, man. So here, here's another thing I, that I that I heard back in the day while while we were we were all in, in well, we were in this group is that one of the brothers asked the brother, "Hey, man, shouldn't we start to fast and pray together?" And the brother told the other brother, no, nah, man, you do that on your own. You do that on your own. But see, that's not, that's not scriptural. That you can do that, but when you are in adversity, man, when you come together as a unit, mm -hmm. that's what happens. The most high, you can make the manifestation of the most high come quicker. That he he responds to, to those people who are mourning in unison or in a in a group faster than it would with just one person uh, doing that. Because when you go in there and you see how the families came together and they all fasted and prayed until the until Yahweh. Just on another example, look at Nineveh. In the, in the example of Nineveh, when Jonah went there and told them to repent, all of them fasted with sackcloth. And, and that stayed the, the wrath of the Most High away from them people, yeah. man. And guess what? It, it still happened. It, uh huh. Because you got guys out there saying Jonah pre preached a false prophecy that didn't occur. <coughs> you know, yeah, I just uh -huh. want to say that because some guys might be watching these guys that's yeah. saying that Jonah went out and preached that the Nineveh was going to be destroyed, and guess what? It didn't happen. Yeah. It right. did happen. It was just delayed. That's right. all that happened. Right. Yeah. But yeah, it, it's, it's just to show you the strength in numbers when you fasting and praying in mm -hmm. unison to our power, man. That's right. He, he comes quickly in, in, in for his people. That's right. Oh, the, keep going. I'm gonna yeah, keep going. Get the precept for you. And this, and for this cause, Hezekiah the king and the prophet Isaiah the son of Amaz prayed and cried to heaven. Uh huh. And the Most High sent an angel, which cut off all the mighty men of Baalah and the leaders and captains in the camp 
of the king of Assyria. So he returned with shame of face to his own land. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, he came in what? To shame, shame. and faith. And, and, and I, li I like that scripture right there because it's... A, Can I get that back to you? Because, because the, the, thing, the things of... Uh, Cause see the things, the things on uh, what she was speaking of, what he was speaking of in the scriptures, it said that Hezekiah and who was the other, who was the other person? Uh, and and it's uh, it was um, and then he come okay, turned it. It was just Hezekiah and Isaiah. And Isaiah, because the scriptures say the prayers of a righteous man availeth much. That's right. So those two righteous brothers right there cried and prayed to Yahweh, where you, uh, to Yahweh. During that time, and he sent an angel, man. Yeah. Right? He sent an angel out there, bro. Hey, I. He came with shame of face. Shame and face. The word there for shame is Basha. Basha. That's right. Hey, I. Hey, man. Come on. <laughs> hey, confusion of faith. Out of there. Confusion of faith is shame, man. Confusion <laughs> of faith is shame. What is the word for confusion? I but shot, man. But shot. When you when you see that when that's brought out to brothers and say oh. confusion of face, man, that's speaking of shame and not speaking of a different look, man. I, no, he he changed and looked look like an Edomite though. Right? That's what happened. <laughs> that's not what it's speaking of, man. Come on, bro. That's not what it's hey, man. He's. But strongholds Sean, are going down with these, with these. Learn, yes. man. They we, don't we, learn, bro. <laughs> these dudes making up that doctrine as they go, man. Yeah, man, go. bro. When you see confusion of faces in the scriptures, that's always utilized, man. The word is bashak, and it means shame. <laughs> Come on, hey man, you gotta solidify that in Jake's mind, man. You do, Jake, bro. Jake got to hear this, man, cause see, you, you say at one time Jake can hear it and it just go in his ear and out the other. Bro. Remember, brothers, bashak. Confusion of faces and shame. Nah, come on, bro. <laughs> what was that word the brother ITR said? Uh, they got parakeetitis. What yeah. was that he said? I can't remember the word. <laughs> But so it was some, you know, yeah. they, they parakeets. They, they parakeets. Yeah. They're looking in the scriptures. I even heard guys say ain't nothing wrong with being a, 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 a parent <laughs> of the elders. Yeah. Hey, man, but it, look, look, you become a parent to somebody who's speaking doctrine that's contrary to Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, man. Hey, man, what does that benefit right. to you? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And the people who are listening well, that, to you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's. You know, you might as well just go ahead and just pack up your bags and just become something else. Go into mm -hmm. another philosophy. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? You can't even understand it for yourself. Yeah. That's you just right. gotta have somebody else tell you and just relay it again. That's With it. all that getting wait, hey I go get that uh Oh oh wait well, let's get be, the let finish okay. that twenty one real quick. God right? God. So he returned with shame of face to his own land. And when he was coming to the house of his God, that they, they that came forth of his own bowels slew him and there with the sword. Look at that, man. Those that came from his own bowels after he came back from the shame. Ooh. Bruh, his own family slew him, bruh. And how does that happen, man? That man made the worst mistake ever is yeah. mocking the most high, man. Right? He came back thinking, okay, man, let me go in here and holler at my God, uh -huh. his false God. And look, his kids looking at that, man, the people who, the, the ones that came from his own bowels, yeah, slew him. If I'm not mistaken, didn't his sons run away? They went to, or they ran away. I think so. I Is think it so another, that, what's it called, right? Is it say it there? Uh, I don't think it's in here. I think it might be in Okay. Because I remember after they killed them, I think they went over to Armenia. Yeah. They, they, they ran away to Armenia. Yeah, it don't go into it. It don't go it into that, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, man, hey, they slew him, bro. Because that, that lets you know, man, hey, man, don't mess with the most high. Man, he'll don't have your own sons kill you. Have right? your own sons kill you, man. And see, and that's a that's a warning also to, to our people, man. Yeah. Don't twist the scriptures, man. Yeah, bro. Because you never know who the most high will get to take you out in that time, man. For man, real, man. Because Mike. you... When we when we bringing this stuff out, man, this is not this is not for any of our glorification. That's right. When we doing these open rebukes or we doing rebuke uh, classes uh, lessons, man, that's for us to give to to you through the spirit yeah. in hopes that you would turn around, man. That's right. So when people see that you messing up, man, then they say, man, this dude doing that. Then the dude can check it out through the scriptures and say, man, you know what? 
Salakia, man. I'm going off. Let me go and do it. These brothers was right on this. Yeah. And this is not the and we, and we, and we had to, we, and, we, and what, like the brother said, we were, uh, just speaking for ourselves, we had to examine what we were teaching in all areas, man. Right. right. We didn't just come out and be like, man, we, we got 100% truth. Yeah. We got 100% truth. We, no. We went and examined the, the doctrine and what we're teaching because we want to make sure to make sure that to you that we giving to you brothers and sisters the right things right, right. we don't want to give 11 you got guys out here they just admittedly that they just you taking 11 man yeah. and you don't and you don't care you know the stuff is wrong you know the breakdown is wrong on diff different things you got a lot of you guys some of you guys didn't want you didn't want to deal with the jump man 23 doctrine right right i didn't want to deal with the with the guy's doctrine because you know it's a, it's wrong man Right. You know what I'm saying? But what y'all gonna do when the Sabbath come? You still gonna justify yourselves buying on the Sabbath? Yeah, yeah. You gonna hey continuously lay up with women because, on the Sabbath? Right? Yeah. It's like you you gonna you can't. You, we're doing this for we want like it says in the scriptures that all shall come to repentance. Yeah. That anyone should perish because we don't know what brothers are part of the elect that need to come out of it. But the Most High has given us certain knowledge and wisdom and understanding. Yeah. That we are to bring out. Cursed be the man that holds his sword from setting blood. So yep. You're going to get cut. Yep, but right. guess what? Yo, yo, you got a healer if you repent. You know yep. what I'm saying? That's true. Yeah. Go ahead, Ah. This is Psalms 119 and 128. Therefore I esteem all thy precepts concerning all things to be right. Uh -huh. And I hate every false way. You know, so yep. just like the brother was saying, you know, we we examine ourselves to make sure. Yeah. You know, when we go through these scriptures, you know, we we make sure that our precepts is, you know, concerning to be right. You know, ah, in the most how long did we sit on the Sabbath doc the Sabbath?